hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how i made this kimono jacket please subscribe drop a comment while you're watching and like let's get to it i folded two and a half yards of fabric into four like this and the length that i have here is by 45 the width of my fabric after folding is 20.5 inches. The first thing I am going to do is to draw a baseline. And from the baseline, I measure the length of the jacket. I'm using 38 inches plus 1 inch for M allowance, that is 39. For the neck width, I use 4 inches. And for the neck depth, I'm going to use one inch so the one inch is going to be for the back and then join it together after marking the neckline you measure from your shoulder to the waistline from the shoulder to waistline is 16 inches now measure how wide you want the sleeve opening to be the person i'm making this for is a bit chubby so I'm going to use a sleeve opening of about 13 inches. Now from the baseline, I'll mark 13 inches. On the waistline, you're going to use your hips measurement. The hips measurement of my client is about 46 inches. I'll divide that by 4. I have 11.5. I'll mark 11.5. Then I'll add an extra 3 inches so that it can be a bit wide, okay? on this line i'll measure in about three inches as well and then i'm going to connect this three inch mark to this mark like this now whatever you have here mark the same thing on the m line i have about 15 inches in total draw a straight line to connect on the edge of the clothes i'll come down by about one inch and I'll connect this to the neckline, okay? Now we can cut it out. On the shoulder line, I'm going to cut 0.5 inch above what I have here. That is going to be the shoulder joining. Open up the fold that you have here. So I'm going to take out this top pattern. I use it for the back. Turn this to the wrong side. For the neck opening, come down by about eight inches. On this mark, come in by about half an inch. Okay, and then you connect the neck width to this. When you get here, curve it a little and then you go straight down half an inch. Then you cut it open. Now the front is open. If you want to know how to remove this, I have a short video on my channel. I'm going to put the link in the description box. For the pocket from the shoulder, you measure about 21 inches down. Measure this line, okay, the 21 inch line and get the midpoint. I have 15 inches here, so I mark 7.5. So this is the midpoint of my pocket. I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'll put this aside. Now to cut the pocket, get the remaining fabric that you have. Fold it into four. From the midpoint here, you measure four and a half inches by nine inches. So I can cut it. So this is the pocket. 9 inches by 
9 inches. Now, after cutting this out, the pocket, the first thing you have to do is to empty the top part. So fold it 0 0.5 first, and then you can do one inch. Okay, then you sew a straight line first. Now, after sewing, you bring in the pattern. So this is the front pattern, and this is the right side. Now, this crease that I have, okay, you place the crease on the mark that you made, pin it down. Then to sew it to the front pattern, you fold this in what? 0.5 inch or 0.25. Fold this as well. 0.5 or 0.25. Fold this as well at the bottom area, 0.25. And then you sew on what you have folded, okay? Just sew very close to the edge like this. And stop here. So this place will be open. Remember, you're only sewing the sides and the bottom part. Okay, so you sew it to the front pattern of the dress. I've sewn the pocket to the front pattern. The next thing is to join it to the back pattern. So I'm going to place the back pattern right sides facing up. Place it right sides facing. First, I'll sew the shoulder and the side straight to the M. So I'll do that on both sides. After that, finish the sleeve opening, fold it two times, and then you sew it all around. By then, you'd have joined hair and hair, so you just have this opening to sew around, okay? Or you serge it once, and then you sew it. So guys, I have sewn the sides. The next thing is to measure round from here, from the bottom part, up until the neckline, round it. This is 16 inches here. So I have about 60 inches and 30, that is 90 inches, right? So I'm going to cut a fabric that is 90 inches long and 4 inches wide. That is going to be the collar. I've cut the collar 90 inches long and 4 inches wide. I folded it into two and ironed it. Now to attach it, get your clothes and then place the collar on the right side. From the M, pin it all around and sew with a 0.5 inch seam allowance. And after doing that, M the jacket. If you have an overlocker, you can overlock all the raw edges, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. There are two ways of folding your fabric. If you fold it this way, you're going to have a joining at the shoulder. But if you want to fold it in a way such that you won't have a joining at the shoulder, let's assume that this is the two and a half yards, and this is by 45. Instead of folding it this way that I did, you're going to turn your two and a half yards of fabric this way. Okay, so you fold it this way, and then you fold it like this. So this top part will be your shoulder while this will be your center front and your center back so every other thing remains the same